At TechSnips, the Human Resources Department sends out a weekly staff changes spreadsheet, and we need to automate the ads, moves and changes that are indicated within it. We'll do this by creating our own advanced function, however let's first make sure that these changes haven't already been actioned. I've pulled out a selection of the changes from within that spreadsheet, and we'll quickly run through these tests to ensure that they haven't already been done. So first, let's check that Dell, our new user, isn't already present in Active Directory, which the error indicates that he is not. Next, let's look at Mabel. She's come off of a fixed term contract and should no longer have an account expiry date. However, when we look at her account, she does. And conversely, Candida has resigned, so she should have an account expiry date, which she doesn't. Brenton has been promoted and his title should now be Senior Cost Accountant. However, his title is still currently Cost Accountant. And finally, Pia has changed reporting lines. Her department should now be Engineering, and her manager should be Austina. However, she's currently in the Legal Department and reporting to Ed. So let's start building our advanced function. We'll start by declaring the function and naming it, in this case, Sync Staff Changes. And I've also noted up the top, this function requires the Import Excel module. This module is what we'll be using to import the Excel spreadsheet as usable data into PowerShell. Next, we'll make this an actual advanced function using the commandlet binding keyword and declaring three parameters. Path is simply the location of the Excel spreadsheet. Base OU is the OU under which all of our users will be created. And the company is, of course, TechSnips. These have been parameterized so that they can be changed easily. However, I've given base OU and company a default value as they won't change for my use case. Next, I'll explicitly import the import Excel module and then use the import Excel function to import the data from my Excel spreadsheet. The data in my spreadsheet starts at row two, so I've indicated that. And sometimes empty rows are left at the bottom of the spreadsheet. So the data only switch says that if a row is empty, to exclude it. Next, I'll start looping through each staff member in that Excel data, and I'll define some common variables for each as we run through them. So I want to know their employee code as a string, rather than the value that it would be naturally, which is a double. And I'll use this employee code to find out if that user already exists in Active Directory. I also want to know the user's manager, and I want to get their AD user object. I'll do this using the manager's user ID column from the Excel spreadsheet. Now I want to know if that user does exist in Active Directory, and if it does, I'm going to update it. So if the user does exist, I'll write a verbose message indicating that it's been found and that I'm proceeding to update it. I'll define the desired OU for that user, which is actually the name of the department under our base OU. And then I'll set the description and title to match the staff member's indicated position. Their department and their manager will both be updated here as well. If the spreadsheet indicates that the staff member has an end date, i.e. they're on a fixed term contract or they've resigned, I'm going to set the account expiration date. And if the spreadsheet doesn't indicate an end date, I'm going to set it to null. This will cancel any existing account expiration dates that might already be in Active Directory. Now I'll update the user using the set AD user commandlet and supplying that existing user object. And if the user isn't in the correct OU for their department, we'll move the AD object into the correct location. We do this by using the existing user's distinguished name and the desired OU that we calculated above. Now if the user doesn't already exist, we're going to work out some more variables for that user. Once again, we'll determine the OU, but now we're also going to create the user's email address, UPN, and full name, and we'll also create a password. In this example, I'm using a static password for all users. In the real world, you'd want this to be a randomized password. 
Now I'll create a hash table of all of my parameters that will be used to create this new user. And again, if the Excel spreadsheet specifies an end date, I'll add that to the hash table. Finally, I'll pass that hash table to new AD user, and this will create my user as specified. If I load this function into memory, and then execute the changes, it works away for a moment and then returns. Let's circle back to our tests that we started with and see that the changes have been applied. So Adele, our new user, should exist in Active Directory, which he does. Mabel should not have an expiry date, which she does not. Candida should have an expiry date, which she does. Brenton's title should now reflect his promotion, and he is now a senior cost accountant. And finally, Pi has been moved to another department, and OU should reflect that, and her manager should be updated. And as we can see, her department has been updated, her distinguished name reflects the new OU, and her manager's also changed. We've now successfully synced our changes from a Excel spreadsheet and have wrapped our script up into a function which we can use as often as we need.